Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 211. Now, in the last tutorial, we got our hair up and running. Uh, let me just open up Unity. Uh, today, we're actually going to work on our uh, skin color. And the way we're doing that, if we actually go ahead and open up our skin color script, that's uh, right here. We'll notice that we have three little boxes that appeared on the screen, and each one has a different color code. And if we open up the script, we notice all it's really doing is going over to our player customization and changing the uh, color code that's stored in there. So if we go here and look, uh, let me just close that down. We'll go up to the top and we should have a skin color right here. All the function's really doing is just changing what the, this is equal to. And if we actually look for the function that changes it, it should be uh, something like change skin color. Let's shrink some of the ones down that we don't need. Uh, we are saving the skin color right here. Uh, right here, change player skin color. So we're passed in a color. Even though we have the skin color exposed as being static, we still have a function for it. That's something we should clean up a little later on. Uh, but anyway, all we're doing is just assigning the color and switching the update, update flag to equal true, meaning that there's updates to be made to the model. And then on our next run through uh, update, scroll up a little bit more in our update. We check to see if there is an update. And if so, then we're going to update the head. And if we come down to update head, here's where it actually goes ahead and uh, changes the skin color for our, well, at least our head. Uh, depending on your models, you might need other skin color parts changed. Maybe you have shorts in your game, so you want to make sure their leg color matches up to well, the, the rest of the color of their skin. And hand color as well. And well, pretty much anywhere else where you have skin exposed. But uh, yeah, we're going in. We're just changing the head material to equal uh, the material right here. We're not going to need that anymore because we can just access this directly because it is... Um, static now we'll have a static instance and then we're just changing the main texture so I'm gonna go ahead and copy these two lines of code and I'm gonna come back into my PC script and let me see we have the load character uh, we're loading the hair color and next we're doing the skin color I uh, don't have any of these done yet now uh, these will be ones that we cover when we actually start instantiating stuff a little bit more uh, but here's the skin color one so I'm just going to paste that in and like I said we don't need this anymore uh, we'll just go through we'll grab the character mesh now I'm going to change this over to an enumeration because honestly I'm not going to remember you know number four in this material array is equal to you know the the head and face and let me see, we can just go like this. Uh, let me just move this comment. I do want to keep it there for now, just so I know to make an enumeration out of it, but we can actually just delete everything here. And then just go through and change the variables. We don't need to get a reference to ourselves. And we'll be switching that over to enumeration at the end. Uh, game settings, head texture path, head, head index. Now we don't have a head index and I don't even think I'm actually saving that yet. Let me just go ahead and take a look. Uh, we have the head texture path and that's it so far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create another load and save here for the, the head and I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as a default of, I guess, I'll have to take a look. I believe I started them off at 1. I'm pretty sure I started them off at 1. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these. So we'll just copy one that we know is pretty simple. Uh, this takes a float. We don't want floats. We want one that doesn't int. I'm just shrinking some of these down so I have a little bit more room to see. And right here is one where we have ints. All right, so I'm going to switch this over to save. 
I'm just going to call it head index. And likewise here. I'm uh, just making sure I didn't actually erase anything. Let me see if we have the, yeah, okay, we still have the matching functions here. And we're going to need a constant and an index. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a constant for it. And it's a path. Well, we're going to need the path too, but we'll do that a little bit later on. For now, we'll just grab uh, one of these and I'm going to post it in right above skin color. And I'm just going to call it player head index. And we'll just change the string to be equal to head index. And we're actually going to need the path. And I believe I am saving the path up here or saving it somewhere. Uh, let's come down and take a look. We're grabbing the head texture. Oh, never mind. We actually already have the head texture path. So all we needed was the index, um, the skin color, which we already have loading and saving while well, we're working on loading. And that looks like that's pretty much it. So let's go back into our game settings too. We'll come back down to where we're making our edits. Uh, it might be easier just to go like this. Uh, save character, or was it save head index right there? And we'll want to switch this over to uh, character, oh, maybe it was head index. I already forgot. Player head index. And right here. All right, so we got a way to save it, and we have a way to load it. And I'm not actually calling the save method yet. Uh, we went over that in character customization. I'm in the middle of revamping the way mine's laid out, so I don't actually have it hooked up just yet. If we go under the save, uh, but it's going to be just like any other thing where we save an index. And I want to make sure that the default is one. And I'm just going to come in and change these variables now to use the game settings. So the head index will be game settings to dot load head index and the skin color will also be game settings to dot load skin color right there. And let me see. Let's go see if there's any errors yet. There's one. Cannot possibly convert texture to. Okay. Uh, so we're assigning a texture to that material, and I think we actually have to assign it to its main texture. Uh, let me just look to see how we did it here. Yeah, we grabbed the main texture. So we'll just post that in there. And if we come back to Unity, the error is gone. I'm going to make sure I'm in my tutorial scene. And when I start it up, uh, I guess we should debug out the actual texture. It looks like it's right. I, I was playing around with it last night, creating characters, and it, I picked the dark skin, and that seems to be dark. Let's go ahead and just throw a debug log statement out there. So debug.log, and what we want to put out is the skin texture. And we'll just grab its name. And we'll just load the game back up again. And it's three. 
uh, let's actually convert that to um, something a little bit uh, more understandable. So I'm just going to grab the, well, let's see, this is coming back as an index. So we're actually going to want to convert this to uh, what its name is in the enumeration. Now, I don't remember exactly where I saved the enumeration. Uh, possibly under this. Uh, apparently, I don't even have an enumeration for the skin color. Uh, let me just quickly go back and take a look here at our uh, GUI in the game or character customization. And if we look at the skin tones, let's just look at one. Uh, it's just simply a color code. So it looks like it's just an int. Yeah. So I don't even have an enumeration for our skin tones, uh, which is fine. Uh, where's my debug statement that I was putting in? I'm not going to bother building an enumeration for that. I only have three options. And the way we have it set up, it really doesn't matter. At least right now. Uh, if we really wanted to test it, uh, we could change it. The last one was three. And that was the dark skin. And if we take a look here, actually, you'll notice the color code is three. Light skin two, medium skin one. So let's try one with the light skin. So I'll select the light skin. I'll just, I'm not going to give them any hair. Just leave them with the eyebrows. And like I said, I do want to add some scale because that will be coming up soon. Just hit next. There we go. And we'll notice here that I have a, a code of two now for the light skin. And of course, if I stop it, clear, start it back up, it should still load up at two. Whoops. Uh, let's go back to our tutorial scene. But as you see, it did load up as two. And of course, start it back up. There we go, two. Uh, that's pretty, oh wait, we did want to build that uh, enumeration for these. So I'm just going to come down here. I'm just going to throw it here for now. Oh no, let's just go ahead and throw it in game settings. That's usually where I like to keep all my uh, enumerations. It just saves me having to go hunt them down and look for them later if I know that they're all here. Uh, with the small exception of stuff being like... Uh, attribute names and stuff like that. I usually keep stuff like that in that class. But for these, I'm just going to put them here. So we'll just create a public enum. And uh, what was this for again? I haven't had my morning coffee, so I'm a little bit slower than usual. Uh, so it's material index, uh, character material index. Sounds good enough for now. And I know that four is the face. So I'm going to start off with face equals four. And I'm going to go ahead and open up that prefab and take a look to see what all of them are. So we'll come down. I have it in my resources folder. And I'll just grab the muscular one. And this is the material that I'm playing with. And zero, one, two, three, four. So zero is feet. Uh, then we go pants. Now you don't have to number them. I am though. Uh, we talked about that in an earlier tutorial. Uh, the next one is body, which is actually the torso, which is what I'm going to put. And of course, your models might vary. I uh, just keep in mind, this is where I'm getting them from. And it does start at zero and just goes up by one. And next will be hands. And one thing you should try to keep in mind is if you're going to use plural for any of them, make sure you use plural for all of them. It just becomes easier uh, later on when you're trying to reference stuff in here. Uh, let's say if I call this foot and hands, uh, it just kind of leads to having some sort of consistency in it. 
it makes it a little bit easier later on. And I believe that's it. And the next one is head. Well, as I said, head here, but it's actually the face that I'm going to be using it for. And well, we have that now. So let's go over here and change this index. And this can be game settings two dot. Uh, we don't even need the game settings two. It's not a part of the class. It's tagged on at the end of the, the class file. Uh, but of course, I did forget what I called it. Character material index. Character material index dot. And this was face. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that comment now. And the debug. I'm going to go ahead and we do have an error. And it's because I'm trying to uh, take the enumeration. We got to convert it to an int, which is fine. It does make it a lot more readable and remember rememberable. And there we go. And just one quick last test. I'm going to give them dark skin again. I just want to go into my scenes. Oops, this one here. I'll start it back up. I'm going to keep all the other stats. I like the dark skin. Let's give him a full beard with hair. Uh, I'm going to give him blonde hair. I do still want to do a lot more in this scene as far as something like um, making the camera move around a little bit more just so it's a little easier to see a guy because right now it's well it could just be the GUI that's really bothering me but I really don't want to work on the, too much on the whole GUI as far as how it looks and well maybe not so much on how it's laid out or not laid out because I am going to be switching that over to the new UI I think it was called the UI toolkit or something like that that just came out I did do a little blog post on it on the site it's free and it's really going to help us make our GUI. I'm just waiting for it to incorporate panels into it or some sort of container window. And I'll probably be using that exclusively for the rest. But anyway, I'll keep them just like that. Hit next. There we go. Back to my dark skin with the beard. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button. If uh, you haven't already subscribed and uh, uh, favorite the video if it's one of your favorites. Uh, it really helps me out. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.